YouTube, what up? Welcome back to another Pounds 978 custom video. And right now, I want to show you the blackest black there is. The darkest figure you'll ever see. If you think I'm talking about Spider-Man Noir, you are wrong. Take another look. Yes, in the shadows was the shadow of a figure. That's crazy. This is the blackest black I've ever seen. Looks great on a figure. You can make a couple crazy customs if you wanted to use this black. Unfortunately, you can't use this black for any customs because it is very sensitive. This is Muso Black, straight out of Japan, one of the darkest blacks there is, and it absorbs 99.4% of visible light. That is incredible. Not infrared light, there's a difference. Visible light, like any electronic light, and infrared light, you know, like the sun. Muso Black isn't gonna not reflect any sunlight. The sun is too powerful for Muso Black, but any electronic lights, LEDs, you point at Muso Black, will not reflect and it'll really absorb 99.4%. There are darker blacks out there, but Muso Black is pretty cool and it's recommended you airbrush it for a darker coat. You can also paint it, but it's recommended to be airbrushed. You can see that Spider-Man Noir in the black background is still visible. He's pretty reflective. The gloss black, the semi-gloss black reflects light pretty good on that figure. So it's pretty cool. I think that's cool. It's pretty ideal. That's how you want black, <laughs> but this black, just fades away in the shadows you can't even see it in this background and that's probably because this background is a vl flock sheet it is another material that is the blackest of black it's not just any regular type of black it's from the same company this is from cold pro black a company straight out of japan you won't find this muso black anywhere else or at least i couldn't i tried so hit up cold pro black if you want to get muso black or a black vl flock sheet one thing that is not recommended is to touch the paint so it isn't ideal for any customs because you're not going to be able to move the joints and retain the same black because the minute you touch the black it's going to gloss out the strength of the coating is very low so glossing and peeling of the coating will occur even with light contact let me demonstrate one more time the difference in black between the blackest black we have from marvel legends he's all black spider-man noir except with a gray mask and silver lenses, everything else is black on him, versus this all black Deadpool figure. You can see that this is like a shadow, but there's a problem, this paint is not durable as the instructions say, so it's only for cosmetic use. If you're gonna paint something like a statue and keep it behind a glass case, then that's probably a good paint for that. But if you wanna use it for a custom on a figure that you're gonna handle often, it's just not worth it you'll see that any swipe or smudge you put on this figure is gonna show immediately. The more you touch this figure, the more you're gonna lose the matte and it's gonna end up glossy. And you can see it's just a cheap spray paint job. I didn't really try to paint this thing. I was just trying to show you how black you can get it. But you can see that anytime I touch it with my fingerprint, it just smudges off all the matte. So that's that sucks. I, I, I mean, I don't want to say anything bad about this paint, but what is this paint for if you can't really touch it? Like, I don't get it. I know you guys want to learn how to airbrush, and we are going to make a tutorial on that pretty soon. It is pretty simple. So I think I'm going to do how to airbrush good paint versus bad paint. So we're going to make two tutorial videos in one instead of just splitting them up in two videos. We'll do two videos and see how that works out. But guys, I mean, I can't recommend this paint if you want to use it for action figures, so no, don't get this paint. But if you have like a nice background or a diorama you want to paint, I think I would say use it for backgrounds, not for like floors, nothing like that, because you're going to be touching the floors. There's also the VL flock sheet if you want the dark backgrounds. So I'd maybe look into that before I look into Muso Black. As far as the paint goes, I don't see a purpose for the paint unless you want to show off how dark it is. And that's cool too, but it's. I think it's pretty expensive it's $25 I paid for that container and I don't think it's 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 worth it yet because I haven't found a really good reason for the paint I think when I find something I can really use the paint for I think I'll appreciate it more I do like it it's it's a, it's friggin interesting that the paint absorbs most light so to see it is definitely a sight to see um, so maybe if you want to you know experiment with that a couple times I would recommend it but don't don't expect it to stay on an action figure if you want it for action figures because it's just not ideal for that 
Anyway, guys, I appreciate the love. If you like this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe for more content. Leave that comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Washes off easy, can't let it go to waste. So I'm gonna wash all this paint off and use this body for a real custom. I did seal a head, I painted the head and sealed it. And once you seal this paint, you lose all the matte. It ends up somewhat glossy too. So there really is no hope for this paint yet. I do expect to use it though.